trying to drown out the sound of the weeping and the gnashing and they beat the drum so that they could ignore the sound. And there's a lot of folk today beating on drums of false interpretation trying to get rid of the fact that hell is a real place but no matter how much you beat the drum of false interpretation it will not change the fact that hell is a real place of eternal torment so tough it they beat the drum what you're trying to do ignore the sounds of the weeping and the gnashing of teeth and this paints the backdrop of Gehenna which Jesus uses to describe hell when he calls it an unquenchable fire. Now, now, Jesus takes that picture and in Matthew 13 says, they'll be cast into the furnace of fire. They will be weeping or wailing and gnashing of teeth. Here's what that teaches. The first thing it teaches is that when God sentences a man to hell fire, he's conscious. How do you know? Because he's weeping and gnashing. To weep here means to cry loudly in anguish. To gnash my teeth means to grind my teeth in pain. They are consciously weeping and grinding their teeth in this furnace of fire. Are y'all following me so far? Gehenna is the final, listen to me, it's the final place of punishment where a person spends eternity. And in that eternity, that person is conscious. All right. Now, before we deal extensively with Gehenna, I've got to show you how you end up there. Because anybody who decides to disobey God or to live unfaithfully to God, Gehenna can end up your home. Now, God prepared it for the devil and his angels. But if you so desire... If you want to live disobedient to God like the fallen angels, then God says, where they are, so will you be. Are y'all following that? All right. What happens when I die? How do I make this journey from earth to hellfire when I'm disobedient? 